Over 30,000 comments have poured in regarding the DEA's proposal to reschedule cannabis to Schedule 3 under the Controlled Substances Act. With just one week left in the public comment period, the total now stands at 30,640 submissions. The surge follows the Department of Justice's publication of the Notice of Proposed Rulemaking in May, which was spearheaded by U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland. The proposal has ignited vigorous debate on the potential benefits and risks associated with rescheduling cannabis. Advocates of the rescheduling argue for, argue for expanded medical access and economic opportunities. They point to cannabis' as recognized medical uses, citing endorsements from the Department of Health and Human Services and various medical associations, for instance, the U.S. Cannabis Council hailed the move as a historic shift away from outdated policies, emphasizing the economic contributions and medical benefits reported by state-regulated cannabis industries. Conversely, critics express reservations about the societal impact of rescheduling. Concerns range from potential increases in substance abuse to the perceived risk of cannabis use disorder. Come on, dude. Particularly among young people. Organizations like Smart Approaches to Marijuana, SAM, have mobilized opposition, highlighting studies linking cannabis use to addiction and mental health issues. The comment submissions reflect a wide spectrum of opinions. Many argue that rescheduling falls short of addressing the broader social justice concerns and advocate for full descheduling, aligning federal policy with the majority of states that have legalized cannabis in some form. Others support the step forward towards rescheduling while urging caution and comprehensive research into cannabis's medical efficacy and social societal impact. Key figures in the medical community, such as Dr. Peter Grinspoon from Harvard Medical School, underscore the therapeutic potential of cannabis for treating conditions like chronic pain and anxiety, advocating for its descheduling based on comparative safety profiles with substances like alcohol and tobacco. As the comment period nears its conclusion on July 22nd, stakeholders from all sides continue to engage vigorously in this pivotal regulatory debate. The outcome will influence federal policy on cannabis impacting medical access, research funding, and the broader legal landscape across the United States. Those interested in contributing their views can submit comments via the federal docket management system until the deadline. This ongoing dialogue reflects the complexities and significance of cannabis policy reform in the modern era. And you guys can read the rest of that article because it was ungodly long um, on our website, Hyatt9news.com. But I think that, you know, I hope that you guys are all going to get your voices heard. I think that for me, a reschedule is not enough. I think a reschedule is going to slow up our process to get what we truly need, which is going to be a full deschedule of cannabis. So um, I will be commenting in opposition, but not for the same reason that Sam is. What do you think, Jace? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, I'll tell you what, it is. is, is, is they got a lot of comments. I was going to say, any, a lot yeah, of any, comments. Any, any insight as when, when there's 30,000 of these comments, like, how long is it going to take to go through all those? Do they, uh, like, any, any, any insight from anybody on? I don't even think they're going to read them. They're actually, not going to read what we said. They're not going to read them. No, Red. they're not. I mean, you know. Right, right. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, I just worry that somebody like Smart Approaches to Marijuana is going to sort of rig the system like they were voting for a best singer on American Idol and just keep calling in, calling in, calling in, calling in. My guess is that they take these comments, they run them through some sort of AI generator to come up with a distillation of positions and then score them based on the percentage of respondents. Mm -hmm. You know what happens Either. when that gets found out, though, uh, Yarrow, is uh, they rescind all that shit and they get sued. They're going to get sued and, and say, oh, this happened because it was going through AI. We can't trust the AI. Who owns the AI to do all of this shit? No, 100%. Well, they're just going to give a little bit scripts. of money to uh, – they're going to give a little bit of money to DeSantis's campaign, and they'll be safe. Mm. Oh, boy. Right. <laughs> all right. No, what That's they're going to do is write a pre-scripted <laughs> response that a lot of people, they're going to be convinced that they're helping by posting, and these people, sheeple, are going to go ahead and post it, not realizing that they may be voting against their best interest, depending on what that pre-forum thing says. <laughs> if you're going to say something, use your own words. If it's red, you want to be well-intentioned, and you want to make sure that it's your verse, your voice being heard, not what someone has convinced you is the right thing to do, because that's led us down quite a few wormholes. Is that what happens when you're red? Yeah, if you're blue, you don't just say it. Uh, well, no, you're just well dabu dee dabu die. I get it. Content. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, there's only two talking heads there. What's going on? Hold on, uh, like Adam. I, I don't know, Adam. Uh, Adam is not being stifled. Adam is not in studio today. No burnt. And so he said he said to stand by for the transition. Oh, 
I take it back. I've changed my political affiliation for brisket. We've been in the chat. Brisket is what's up. Yarrow's There's now red. I'm going to send Yaro. It's almost, Traeger Day has just passed, so yeah. we can have another one, and we'll mm -hmm. get you some, there, some we, burn -ins. Things in life yeah. that are better than brisket, and I cannot talk about those on this show. Yes, Republicans for remediation. Let's go. Oh. Oh, Well, man. shout out. We got a big old super chat. Thank you so much, Philip Zimmerman. <laughs> Says Stilts. He got it. Snoop takes in <laughs> licensed trafficked sales. <laughs> Damn. Not <laughs> Stilts. Zales, right. Zales, bro. Zales. Zimmerman's been hot in the chat today. Yes. Right. Yes. Shout Zimmerman out, Zimmerman is always hot in the chat. Even